is getting a fishing charter worth it? The short answer is, it all depends why you want to get the fishing charter. I know that's not the answer that you're looking for, but just bear with me a few minutes and I'll break it down for you. Why do you want the fishing charter? Do you think you're going to get mountains of fish at a fraction of the cost of the market? Well, let's just break down some of the costs. Now I'm going to use the most recent trip that I had just a week ago in Prince Rupert, which was amazing by the way, with blackfish fishing charters. Now, if you get to use a fishing charter, I totally recommend blackfish. Five out of five stars. It was absolutely amazing trip of a lifetime. But back to the costs. What did the whole trip cost? Well, there was three of us, myself, my wife, and my father-in-law. The two day fishing charter was about $3,000. Don't forget to tip your captain. He's well worth it, $550. Processing your fish, somewhere around $1,000. Hotels, now it was a bit of a trip to get there because chances are if you're getting a charter, you don't live in the community. I live quite a ways from Prince Rupert. So it was about four days of hotels. And if there's two hotels that you're getting because there's two parties, well, maybe around $1,000 in hotels at least. Meals for the whole time, around $900. Gas, well that's going up, $600. So if you put it all together with some tax and some other miscellaneous costs, you can expect about $2,500 per person or about $7,500 for the trip total. Now again, the trip was amazing. Paul was fantastic, an excellent captain. We limited out on salmon, halibut, crab, and we got as much lingcod as we wanted. Once we worked out the market price of everything that we bought, it was $2,628 per person versus the cost of $2,500. So if you were just looking to go to get cheap seafood, it really wouldn't be worth it. Basically, you're spending four days for free to get the fish and all the seafood at about roughly the same cost as you would get it in the store. And just a side point, if we didn't have Paul and Blackfish fishing charters, who knows if we would have caught our limit. When we went into the processing plant, they told us that there was actually people there recently that only caught crab. They got skunked on their fish. So that is a very expensive fishing trip. You can't be guaranteed that you're going to catch your limit. So if this is just about getting cheap fish, I would say it's probably not worth it to get a charter. But who in their right mind is getting a fishing charter just for cheap fish? This is a trip of a lifetime. It's gonna give you stories that you'll tell your grandkids about. If you've never been on a fishing charter, it should be on your bucket list and you should be doing it as soon as possible. It's incredible. If you look at it from the point of view that you want the fishing trip of a lifetime and all the fish that you catch is gonna subsidize the trip, possibly even give you a free adventure, well then it is totally worth it. And this is the mindset that you should have going into it. Now I wanna share with you a few tips that you can use to reduce the cost of the overall trip to make it even more economical. One thing you can do is you can all travel together in a vehicle down there, especially if you're a long ways away. You're gonna save on gas. If you wanna save on hotels, well, you could all get together in one hotel room or even better if you've got a travel trailer, camper, fifth wheel, you're gonna save money there too. Bring your own food. If you don't wanna eat out in restaurants, you can save some money, especially if you've got your own fifth wheeler trailer. This is my number one tip for saving money. Bring your fish home and process them there. Now, if you have a guide, a good guide like we did, Paul, he's gonna clean up all your fish on the boat. He's gonna cut them up into chunks. He's gonna store them for you. And then you're just gonna wanna haul them home, bring tons of picnic coolers and buy lots of ice. Just bring them home and do it there. Oh, and don't forget, if you have crab, you're not just going to want to throw live crab in the picnic coolers full of ice. You'll want to cook them first because the crab will die in the cold environment that you throw them in and it's going to be a bacteria party. Here's one other tip to maximize your yield of fish. Consider how many people you want to go together. I think the magic number for me is three. You know, you might think if I get six people on a charter and we can split the cost six ways, it sounds good. It doesn't quite work out that way because some of the times with the downriggers and when you're salmon fishing, you're only gonna have two lines out. Or if you have way too many lines out whenever you're jigging, there's gonna be lots of tangles, you're gonna lose fish, and you're not gonna come home with as much as you could if you had just three people. I'd say you could do four, but three for me I think is the magic number. Now there's one place you do not want to save money on, and that's when it comes to tipping your guide. 
don't be cheap. You have this person that has a lifetime of experience. Your lives are literally in his hands. He's keeping you safe. He's got secret spots that he knows exactly where the fish are going to be. He wants you to have the best experience possible. And if you watch carefully and listen to him, you're going to learn valuable tips that that alone is going to be worth the entire cost of the trip. Don't stiff your captain. How much should you give him for a tip? Well, I read online it's kind of like being a waiter. You know, there's a range, 10% if it was okay, 20% if he did an awesome job. So somewhere in the middle there, depending on the service you got. But this guy works hard. He's giving his everything. He doesn't rest for a second. The whole 10, 11, 12 hours, he's focused on you getting your fish. Treat him well, because if you don't, word will probably get out if you're a bad tipper. It happens. And then the next time you come, guess who you're going to get? Some greenhorn guy that's just out there trying to gain experience and you're probably not going to have a good time or catch as much fish. So I hope this video helps. If you like it, please subscribe. Later on, I'm going to be posting a full 30 minute episode of the awesome time we had up in Prince Rupert with Blackfish Fishing Charters. And it's also going to be on local television cable in Williams Lake, BC. Come here for a second. Yeah. Hang on a bit. Okay, I need you to see the forehead. Come over by me. Yeah. Okay, use it to your forehead and walk back. Thank you. Oh! Holy, that's bigger than the last one. Okay, grab one. the flasher. That's the biggest one yet, Dan. Good. Okay. Oh!